I am an algae farmer. I'm in the business of removing industrial carbon dioxide with microalgae. Yeah, folks, there's money in growing algae and cleaning the planet. It's also one of the most efficient ways to remove lots of carbon dioxide. Algae takes up carbon dioxide, uses the carbon to grow, and releases oxygen. This is the same way the ocean does. We just oversaturated it. So imagine all the big polluting industries becoming clean, like coal, cement, steel, oil and gas, landfills, even the making of hydrogen fuel. Yeah, they all emit carbon dioxide, and we can use algae farms to reduce all of it. Microalgae is one of the most well-studied organisms, and it's easy to grow. We grow microalgae in big tanks called photobioreactors. They optimize and accelerate the natural carbon dioxide conversion process in a closed system, completely controlling light, temperature, and nutrients. Doesn't drain water resources. We can even use sewage water and clean that too. It grows fast. Microalgae breathes carbon dioxide. We pipe in carbon dioxide from the heavy emitters. It can take up two to five tons of carbon dioxide to make one ton of biomass. That's equivalent to five to thirteen thousand miles driven by your average gas car. Biomass is the algae mush that comes out from the tanks. These tanks sit next to these facilities and make them carbon neutral. Doesn't disturb the facility. They don't need to shut it down. And there's always extra land around to put these, and it only needs a few acres. The biomass that comes out can be made into many valuable products that we already need. We empty half the tank every day, and it grows the next day. We're able to reuse 99% of the water back into the tanks, pull it out, we dry it. It's fertilizer. It's organic and nutrient-rich for the soil. It's also a carbon sink, so the farmers can get carbon credits. The biomass can be turned into animal feed that's healthier for animals. Cows don't burp and fart, so there's no methane. Biomass can even be processed for human consumption. Yeah, you can eat this. It can be used as food ingredients that's healthy because it's rich in protein, carbohydrates, fatty acids, and tons of vitamins and minerals. In other words, the biomass from the algae that just cleaned the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere can actually be used as part of the solution for food insecurity. Just as incredible, we can also process it with heat and pressure to turn it into crude oil, just like how the Earth does it over billions of years, but we can do it in a day. Unlike other forms of crude oil, this is carbon negative, good for generators, sustainable aviation fuel, even your car. Each of these commodities are in high demand. We get contracts to pay for the biomass before we even grow the microalgae. It's profitable. It makes good returns for investors, allowing it to self-sustain, making it a carbon negative solution for energy, agriculture. A trifecta: cleans the pollution, makes things we need, and profitable. This is how we do it: the business of saving the planet. This is fast to set up, relatively inexpensive. The tanks can be installed in within a few weeks. A hundred can be put up in four weeks on a little over one acre of land, and that's enough to neutralize a small cement factory. One of the largest coal plants in Europe emits 10 million tons of carbon dioxide a year. That's about two million cars. We can put up 4,000 tanks next to it to neutralize it. Everything I'm describing may sound so simple and magical. Our team has researched, tested, and piloted this for almost a decade. It works, certified and proven. Coal, cement. 
landfills, steel factories, hydrogen plants. Millions of tons of carbon dioxide just eats it up. Put a few hundred tanks next to each of these. Each tank can remove about 60 trees worth of carbon dioxide every year. It's nature in a controlled environment to optimize removal. And the ultimate potential is massive. It holds the power to bring these industries to net zero carbon. Truly, lungs for the planet. The only gap between what is possible and a scaled solution is interest and capital. And to roll out solutions like this everywhere at the speed the planet requires is about return on investment and a team of people who can put the planet first. In other words, we need more algae farmers and more investments in algae farms. As a business person, I can understand how the corporate community can be less likely to think of climate activism as a profitable venture, but it can be. Profitability leads to sustainability. It's what's needed for climate action to work. Investments are needed to fuel activism. Action involves new infrastructure, a change in technology and how we create energy, how we make things, how industries work. It's time to put money to work to scale creative solutions. I got here because I'm compelled to do more to fix this climate problem, especially in the next six years. It's crucial. And if there's something I can do, I want to say I tried. No could have, would have, should have. The answer is found in nature. It's been doing it this whole time. My friend, the algae, offers hope, a real solution that can scale fast, that works for our capitalists and environmentalists ready to go right now.